So this is the next video in the T4 Mini quadcopter build series. I'm going to start preparing the, um, the motor and, uh, and power section of this little quadcopter. I've chosen to try out some of these uh, Turnergy Aero Drive SK3 uh, little motors from Hobby King. This isn't a recommendation, I, I don't know anything about these motors really yet, um, but I just thought I'd give them a try. So. Um, Stay tuned as we do this build and, and maybe some flight tests afterwards and uh, see how this all works for us. But um, I have made one change to these motors already. Um, they came with uh, with quite a long shaft on here, so I've already uh, already trimmed the shaft on this, just using a little uh, a little uh, Dremel tool. But um, there's other videos on the internet about how to do that, so I won't go into details here. But uh, the next stage I'm going to work on at the moment is... Uh, is these wires, the motor wires aren't long enough to uh, to make it all the way uh, down the arms of the Mini T4 body so uh, my first first uh, challenge here is to lengthen these motor wires right so this is really just as simple as, uh, as chopping off these existing bullet connectors and I just need to trim back just um, a few millimeters of wire on each of these each of these cables not too much and I've already cut off already cut off a few smaller pieces of, of wire here about the length I need in this case it's about, uh, about 10 centimeters or what's that four inches uh, so I'll do the same, just strip a bit off the ends of these. So I'll just use my little handy helper here to hold these cables. I'm just trying to get set up so you can see what I'm doing. But I find that the um, best way to do these sort of big stranded wires is actually just to push them together straight in end for end so that the threads and the wires kind of just merge in together and there's other videos on the internet of doing this and then just squeeze them up here so this little handy guy is very handy Because he also lets me hold everything nice and still. I get a bit of heat in here. Good blob of solder. And that's one done. Alright, so there we go. Get in the video. So there's all three of those now soldered and lengthened long enough to use in the Mini T4. I'll carry on and do the other motors. Okay, so I'm just going to put some heat shrink on these on these joins that I've made for extending the motor wires. Okay, so here we are with uh, all four motors now with their wires extended, ready to install into the Mini T4. So I'm just going to uh, put two of the wires here down one side of the frame, of the arm, sorry, and another one down the other side. This can be easier to do sometimes before you attach the arm to the, to the body. Uh, but we'll just see how we go today. So just turning that over. And I'm just looking to see the three wires coming out in there and they seem to be, which is great. Let's 
for those little tall fruit. Okay, so I've got these M3x6mm uh, grub screws that I'm going to use to attach the motor. Uh, there's about 3mm of plastic in the T4 arm, and then that gives about 3mm to go up into the motor. I'm just putting a drop of, uh, of blue Loctite on the bolt there. And just get the first one lined up. that a little bit, just leaving it a little bit loose so I can do the second one and then I'll make sure the motor's in the right place before I tighten them both up. And then just while those are still loose, just turn it over, make sure the motor is still is centered exactly where you want it to be, that it's completely clearing the arm all around there, no problem, looks good to me. And then just tweak up the bolt. Now you can use four bolts if you wish, entirely over to you. Okay, so now I've got all four motors installed in the frame. Now on the bottom here we can see the, uh, the wires coming through from each of, the, uh, each of the holes. And it's now ready to start having a look at ESCs.